So hey guys, it's Mike. Uh, doing another long overdue video here about my progress with this guy, the Rep German Rep Rep Neo Pro. Or actually Neo, I don't know why I said Neo Pro. Anyway, um, I've had it for a couple months now and I've had some ups and downs as far as trying to get my feet wet and try to get things figured out. And I didn't want to post a video while I was trying to figure this out just because I didn't want to make it look like uh, something was wrong with the product because there really isn't anything. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see, everything's running great right now. Uh, this guy is available in the US through a couple of different websites and I'll post the links in my description along with everything that I've done so far to the printer as far as upgrades and projects. Um, I really want to say first and foremost, uh, the guys at German Rep Rap have been fantastic. I did have some issues right after I posted my unboxing video, I tried to fire it up and um, frankly we had some problems because the board was shipped to me and it must have been damaged during shipping. So um, I let them know on Friday night and by Monday morning we already had a game plan in mind to get a new board out to me which I told them I was qualified to replace on my own because I'm a technician and since they're in Germany and I'm in the US shipping costs would have been a nightmare to do this all over again therefore they shipped me out another board um, there wasn't a problem there was a problem with that second board as well but um, without even blinking as soon as I notified them they sent me a third board and uh, end result, the third board was running great. And it took me a while to get my feet wet with the machine after that. Um, thankfully, YouTube has been an excellent tutor as far as uh, getting me some educational material as far as what to do with a 3D printer in general. At first I started using um, the supplied software, which was Repetier Host with Slicer. And what's nice is uh, German RepRap actually tailor makes that machine or that software with machine specs already in the inside so all you have to do is select the Neo from a pull down menu of pre-selections and slicer and it will already have the configuration for your machine already logged in there um, but one of my la latest additions to the machine has been this little guy over here and we'll go through all of them but I wanted to bring this up of course this is the Raspberry Pi and if we look over here, we are running Octoprint and we are running it with a webcam. So life is wonderful because we only have one laptop in the house and when I'm putting the laptop to use with this system, uh, it basically holds the laptop hostage for a distinct amount of time. And since we're a family and not one person, you know what kind of hassle that can be, right? Um, anyway. Let's move on to a couple of the other upgrades. Um, the first thing I ever did was this guy. It's a fan holder. Now, the, the Neo does come with the uh, printer board Rev-D, but it's flashed with their firmware. So the fan does work, it's just not included. Now luckily I go on their forum and I uh, found a couple of different designs that people have posted to Thingverse as far as a fan shroud for it. And this is one of those really great fan shrouds that, let me see if I can get a good picture of that. It actually goes all the way around the hot end and blows cool air all the way around the hot end to help get your print to uh, come out better. So that was a great addition. This is actually the second one though because I actually broke the first one trying to take it off the machine which was a royal goof on my part. Uh, the next thing is I ended up buying this roll of filament uh, from Best Buy through uh, Boomat and um, I'm not, no real complaints with the filament. I have seen a couple of problems with the diameter and causing jams but I think I've got that all cured now as far as just making sure it's dried properly but what I really wanted to show, and I'm not sure how well this is going to work, is I had to make custom make a spool holder for it in order to handle this size of one kilogram spool. So, um, therefore we've got that, we've got the fan holder, uh, we've got 
the Raspberry Pi running Octoprint. And um, you may notice that in my first video I mentioned they come with a BuildTech plate on a flexible material, which is plexiglass for this guy. Now, that's all well and good. I ended up uh, killing the BuildTech plate, though, because I shoved a knife in there a little too deep. And you know what happens when you shove knives in too deep on contact adhesives like that. You end up tearing stuff up. Luckily, I had a lot of blue painter's tape around. So, that's a quick, easy fix, and I'm happy with that. Um, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but we are printing out three batarangs. Probably too much light. Or too much light in the wrong place. There we go, batarangs. Yay. Everybody's happy. But, um... I guess that's about it for right now, and uh, again, I would really love to thank uh, the folks at German RepRap for this. I would like to thank uh, 3dprintboard.com for uh, organizing the contest that allowed me to win this wonderful thing. This is the first printer I've ever owned, and I'm loving life with it. I can't wait to take on new challenges with it, and um, like I said, everything I've ever made with it so far, I will put in the description so you can either download the links from Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, you imagine. Uh, I bought I, I grabbed a little thing uh, grabbed a little this and that's from everywhere. So oh and just before I forget there is actually a uh, filament filter from my mini factory on the back. So I, I don't want to go spelunking back there again just to show you that though. So anyway that's that's it. Thanks again, and I'll be showing more videos soon. Take care.